Hey guys, it's Amanda here. I want to do a quick review on Beauty Blender. The best makeup sponge ever invented. One of these lovely Beauty Blenders are a counterfeit. Can you guess which one is a counterfeit? Well, this one. Sorry, these are used, but um, I had ordered this. Alright, this is my, my last video. I told you I have never had a beauty blender. I was anxious to get one. I didn't want to spend the $20 on it. I seen this a girl selling this online, which you should never really buy makeup online, especially <clears throat> like higher end makeup. Um, I had purchased this for $15. After I purchased it, I decided to research what a counterfeit looks like. Um... It came up for the for the pro is supposed to have white lettering, so that's how I found out it was counterfeit. This is the packaging for the counterfeit pro. Modern modernize the way you make up the original beauty blender, latex free. It does say made in the USA which it's supposed to, and this is www.beautyblender.net. The barcode, however, is correct. And that little piece that I had the Allure sticker on the magazine sticker, and then it has um, this little pamphlet inside that you can actually tell it's a copy compared to the Beauty Blender, the, the pink one. So it's hard because I don't have the, the original Beauty Blender Pro to compare this one to. All they have is this the pink one, the original to compare it to. And the packaging is really similar. The pink is supposed to have black lettering and this doesn't say modernize the way you make up as wet, squeeze, bounce, and it says makeup sponge. On the bottom, it does say made in USA, but it doesn't say beautyblender.net, it says beautyblender.com. So, and honestly, I had to try this knowing it's fake just to see what the differences are to help you guys so in case you do run into the fake one. It's hard because I don't know what the, the Beauty Blender Pro is like in comparison to this but I really do like this one. I'm not going to say I don't. The difference between these two is this one I could squeeze all the way to nothing and this one is like harder to squeeze. There's like and it's harder to come back to normal. This one has like more airy, like oxygen holes or whatever you want to call it. And this one's more closed and soft and it's like a surface kind of sponge versus this is like a sponge sponge. I use both of these when I apply my makeup. So I wish I knew how to purchase more of these because I actually really do like them. I am totally used to the Beauty Blender now. Now it's easy, it's easy to blend in my contour and my highlights, my concealer. So, I'm in love with the Beauty Blender, definitely, for sure, best sponge ever. This isn't bad, so, I just wanted to give a quick, um, video so you know how to spot a fake pro, and that is because of the packaging has black lettering. If it has white lettering, it is, it's the real deal. The difference in size, I think, fake one is a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. A little tiny bit bigger. So yeah, um, I just don't want anyone else to be fooled and think that they're really using the real blue beauty blender when they're not. Because if I never researched it, I would have been like, oh, I love the beauty blender. Really, no complaints about it. But definitely, this is better. I have to say, this is a lot better. This is like needed too. I like how it's it's much softer, much softer, and um, it's fatter. It blows up. It gets much bigger than the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna do another video when I get the Pro, and I'm gonna compare the the fake um, Pro to the real Pro to see if I like the Beauty Blender Pro better than the fake. So, thank you for watching, and any comments, let me know if you ever seen this one out and know where to get it, or have anything to let me know about these, comment, and please subscribe to my videos. 
Thanks, guys. Bye.